In this video, I'm going to speak about the CSV file formats for SDS that come out of Edval or Compass School Manager. But for this example, I'm going to use one that I've created myself manually, just to give you an idea on what one class looks like in, in the fields. Before I begin with that, there's a website here on the docs.microsoft.com just regarding what it's all about. So as you can see here, there's six CSV files that we're going to be looking at. And then when you come down here, it's actually giving you a bit of a spreadsheet on what's required and what's not required, um, but it's totally up to you what you need to do. But you must have the required fields, the ones that says yes, if you need to use SDS uh, in automation. Student information here, we need the SAS ID and the username and the school SAS ID. For the teacher, same thing, we also need the username. And if we're creating for the very first time, obviously, we can add the first and last name in which we would be. Same thing for the school, we only really need those two unless we need, want to add some more information in there. The section information, we want to add those in. Um, like I said before, with with our one, we've actually added in the section number ID, the SES ID term as well. And student enrollment files, you need to have all that information, also the teacher roster. Now I'll go and show you what it looks like in a sample file. What I've got here is our school file. And as you can see in our school file, the OSES ID is Lawana and the name is Lawana College. The next part of the file is the section file. And what we've got here is we've got all information about the class getting created. As you can see, the SES ID for the class is called 7ENG.B. That's for our Year 7 English B group. The SES ID is Lawana College for school SES ID. The section name, then we've got English is the course name, Year 7 English, the course subject, 7 ENG, and then the term name, which we're using semesters at this stage. So 2020 underscore S1. This is a good way of, as an identifier um, when we look at the profiling later on in the next few videos when you want to um, update the semester files down the track. The next one's the student file. This is a very basic file, student ID, school ID, first name, username, last name and username. Very simple. This is the big file here. So in your downloads, you would actually get um, all the subjects and all what students are attached to what subjects. So for today, I'm just adding two students to the Year 7 English B class. Okay, we add our teachers in. And then what we want to do now is we want to actually then add a teacher against a subject. As you can see here, 7ENG.B has the staff member AHO attached to it. I hope that helps.